Hello students. Today we will do the second experiment of structural ingredients. Uh, this is the study and practice of ER diagram. So we will use ER diagram. ER diagram means the full form of ER diagram is NDD relationship diagram. NDD, the objective of this diagram is to understand what is NDD, what is relationship, and with the help of NDD and relationship between the entity you can understand how to make ER diagram in star UML we will see it. First we will see what is ER diagram. ER diagram represents a schema. Schema or over of overall organization of the system. Schema means you can say the table which we are making for the project. We will apply concept of ER modeling to our um, library. To our library management system and draw ER diagram. Here we will take the example of library management system to make ER diagram in order to construct this model. You have to analyze and identify the entities and attributes. First thing is classify the objects or entities. Entities means any real thing which may be virtual or which may be physical. Suppose a book is an entity. Okay. Now they are having attributes also. So we find out the attributes of those entities. Book has book ID, book name, title, author like this. Now after that identify and define the relationship between entities. Suppose you are having two entities, college and student. So you have to find out the relationship between entities and you can show it in the diagram also. Now naming the identify entities and attributes and relationships. Finally, we will draw the ER diagram. Now first we have to see what are the symbols to draw the ER diagram. In physically, when we are making ER diagram, we are used rectangle box for entity type, weak entity type, weak entity and strong entity. There are two entity types. When you are having a student entity, which is a strong entity, attributes of student is the name of student, ID of student, branch of student, so on. Weak entity means which is dependent on the strong entity. Student is a strong entity and guardian of that student is weak entity. If you are making the parent entity, which will be weak entity and dependent on the strong entity. After that, we are making relationship between the entities. Suppose you are having two entity, college and uh, student, then you make relationship student, studies and college. Member read book. Read is the relationship which always shows by the verb you can see. And entities are noun, which shows by the name, the student, book, person, list. Now attribute shown in the diagram, this is a list. Attribute means characteristic. For entity book, we will give attributes that book ID, book name, title, author license. After this key attribute means in any entity there is a unique ID which is known as key attribute. In book you can say as book ID. In a student you can say as enrollment number like this. After that multi-valued attribute means if any attribute has multi-value, suppose mobile number. One student can have two mobile numbers. That time we use multi-valued attributes. And after that is derived attribute. Derived attribute means which is derived by a formula or a figure, you can say. Suppose derived attribute is the age of student. Now age is derived from the today's date and date of birth. Means if you minus date of birth, minus today's date, you will get the right or age. 
कि एज कैसे आती है व्हेन वी विल डिटेक्ट करंट एज माइनस स्टेट ऑफ आर सो यू विल गेट एज After that symbol, now in star human we are not using these types of symbols. But physically, if you are drawing a diagram in a copy of pen, we use this type of thing. So with the diagram, you can see, you can easily understand this type of attributes are there. Now we are um, doing a diagram for library management system. So. i have find out some entities like book and attributes of entities are book id title author size availability if book is available in library or not now next is the member entity having id member id name street city zip code member type member date of membership expiry date like this and publisher who publishes the book publisher id publisher name and all these are the attributes of publisher entity and supplier who supplies the book also have supplier id name and all the attributes for the supplier who supplies the book now let's have a look for um, uh, a page this is the er diagram of library management system how many entities are there there are three entities book publisher and member you can see in green color Attributes are in blue. The blue color means these are the characteristics of this book entity. Okay, for book, book ID, author, title, price, and availability. For publisher, publisher ID, address, and name. Now you can see the relationship in this diamond box. Book and publisher. What is the relationship between book and publisher? Is published by. Book published by publisher. Book borrowed by member. Like this, we are making relationship. Now, it also may happen that you have to add attribute in relationship also. Because when a member will borrow a book, that time you have to give the due date. In which date he has to return? and actually return date if return date is bigger than the due date then student has to pay fine this fine will be calculated with the help of return date minus due date suppose your return date is 17th june 2020 and you are returning your book 19th june 2020 means you have to pay 19 minus 17 two days fine He should see when the book is issued. Like this, you can meet a ER diagram of library management, and you are able to do the diagram of any project for any a ER diagram. Now we will see how will we make this in star UML. There are different symbols for this. In Star UML, in previous segment uh, lecture, we have seen that Star UML is a tool to make UML diagram. And if we click on the model edge diagram, you can see there are different types of diagram you can make. I have clicked here ER diagram. Whenever I will click ER diagram, you can see. these are the components of er diagram these are the components of er diagram we have talked about the entity when you click on entity you can see entity is like this now in diagram we have seen that attribute will be displayed by the ellipsis but here we will make attribute we will write attribute here i will show you we are making publisher entity publisher and what are the attributes for the publisher are publisher id address and name so we will add attributes here right click here 
add here and column because in table actually entity is a table and in table we are adding column book is a table and it is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 columns you can imagine a table book which is having six columns in first column book id means first book id number second book id number like this we are making a relation or a table here column number 1 is publisher id publisher id after that again you press plus that is the name of publisher then again you press address of publisher publisher okay now this i have made three we have uh, i have shown your um, shown you that uh, er diagram of library management system where we have three and it is book publisher and member and there are so many attributes i have already made book and member entity now we will do the relationship first here one to there are you can see here three types of relationship is the left one to one many to one to many and many to many i will click here one to one one to one means only a book can be published by only a one publisher if you want establish relationship like this then you write then you click on one to one relationship if you want that many books published by one publisher or you want one book published by many publisher then we will draw the many to many relationship like this we know that one book can be issued by the many members and one member can issue many books now this is many to many relationship you write here issue or you can write read member read book okay now you can here also make attribute we have seen that uh, return date due date and issue date for this we will make here no identify no click one no have it click here so it will be very much clear suppose it is return date then next 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 node is you can write due date you take and next again you can write issue i s s u okay mean what we have done here <coughs> book Read by members, and in the making during the time of relationship, book has been issued, and return date and due date. Due date will be allotted if you have issued book uh, at one seven in first July. You have to return on seven July. Due date is seven July, and If you return book nine to July, then you have to pay fine by return date minus due date. Now, I think
you can make this type of ear diagram for any project and it will be very helpful to understand what is the entity means what is your uh, table or column name book and what are the attributes in previous uh, lecture in previous program we have seen class diagram here the name of class appears and with the name of class these type of attributes are also appeared but in class there are one addition is there operations on these attributes are also appeared here we are making a static diagram for the entities and its attributes also and we are understanding the relationship between the entities that is one to one means one entity can issue one one member member can be issue only one book if one to many means one to many relationship and many to many means many member can issue one book and many book can be issued by one member like this you can make more entities here as you want so please draw this diagram in star uml in previous lecture i have told you how to uh, download you star uml and try to make it if you have any problem you can ask me by mail or by uh, my whatsapp number so with this we will see the next diagram in next lecture till then good bye